Inside Science. Water is the forgotten nutrient. Hydration has been the focus of my research for the last 20 years probably. And we think we can have a great impact both in health and performance just by being better hydrated. So we take urine samples and we measure how well hydrated somebody is. And this data indicate that majority of people are not well hydrated. So I, I can give you what are the dietary guidelines. Uh, and those dietary guidelines are for males are 12 glasses of water per day and for female adults is eight glasses of water per day. However, this amount could vary significantly. So there are two things that you can do to really figure out whether you're drinking enough or whether you need to consume more fluids. One of them is when you go to the bathroom, check your urine color. If your urine is too dark, that's an indication that you're not drinking enough. The other thing you can do is just pay attention to how many times you go to the bathroom throughout the day. To be well hydrated, you're supposed to go to the bathroom approximately six times, six to seven times throughout the day. Sparkling water, for example, versus flat water, it doesn't seem to have any, any difference as far as metabolic effects, at least. So I've done studies with sport drinks, and sport drinks seems to be beneficial for prolonged type of exercise, especially high intensity prolonged type of exercise, when duration exceeds one, one and a half hours. Sport drinks are definitely beneficial because they provide also energy and electrolytes. But for average people that they do not train for more than one intense continuous hour, uh, water could be more than enough to keep them well hydrated. As far as other drinks, if they have a caloric content, could have a, an additive contribution to your overall caloric intake throughout the day. And, and since obesity, it's a, it's a big concern, not only for the United States, but for the entire planet. Uh, I think stay with uh, the best hydrator, which is water. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, Follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and the Coalition of Underwriters.